Located right in the center of Craiova city, the art museum is sheltered by the wonderful palace that belonged to the Mihail family on 15 Oneri Street. The imposing building was erected between 1900 and 1907, according to the design made by the French architect Paul Gautreau, the Mihails being one of the richest families in Romania at the time. Legend says that the owner, Constantin Mihail, would have liked to cover the building with gold coins, but King Karol I disagreed. The truth is that the palace was equipped with an electrical installation and central heating from the very beginning, which was quite modern for the time. Jean Mihail Palace is certainly the most beautiful building in Craiova, and probably in the whole region of Altinia, being a real masterpiece of civil architecture, succeeding in attracting all the admiration of the visitors, due to the perfection and harmony of dimensions, and also to its delicate but firm and cleanly cut lines. We can notice the precision of the work of the exterior architecture in the ornaments and details of the facades, the framing of the windows and the iron fittings that ornate the balconies. During the First World War, when part of Romania's territory was occupied by the Central Powers, the palace was the headquarters of the German command of Oltinia, while in September 1944, it was the headquarters of the Soviet command of the 53rd Army. The art museum has been arranged in this building since August 1954. It was based on an impressive collection of art objects bequeathed to the city by the Amman family in 1908 through a foundation. Now the museum has an extremely valuable cultural heritage of about 12,000 artistic works. In 2009, at 100 years from its inauguration, the palace entered a complex process of consolidation and restoration, benefiting of a generous financial support from the European Union and the local authorities, a fact that restores its former luster. The whole interior reflects everything that meant luxury at the time, with Carrara marble stairs and walls plated with multicolored marble supported by columns with perfect shapes. There were used the best possible materials in building the palace and foreign masons, generally Italians, settled in Altinia, while the responsible architect for supervising the works was the Italian Constantino Cicchi. The interior was designed to benefit from as much natural light as possible, with large windows that showed the most refined details of execution. The skylights are ingeniously placed to allow a discreet light, powerful enough though to highlight the Venetian mirrors, painted ceilings, chandeliers with Murano crystal ornaments, walls covered by silk tapestry from Lyon or noble wood wainscots. All these things lend the rooms an air of elegance and refined taste. The furniture and art objects placed initially in the rooms had been brought mainly from abroad due to the fact that the Mihails had in Vienna relatives that owned, among other things, an antiques shop. Observing the architectural pattern of the day, the palace has at its entrance a monumental hall of fame, flanked by columns of red marble and richly ornamented capitals. 
You can admire superb golden stucco works everywhere on the walls. The hall has an impressive size and harmonious proportions. In the free spaces along the hall, there are placed bronze and marble statues created by various artists. The hall opens a generous access towards the main rooms on the ground floor. The rooms on the left of the entrance shelter the most valuable pieces of the museum patrimony. The Brunkush chamber holds six works of the famous sculpture. Vitellius, a girl's head or vanity, a boy's head, the thigh, Miss Pogony and the kiss. Considered by the art historians as being the first modern sculpture in the world. A boy's head, a girl's head and the kiss belonging to the private collection of lawyer Victor Pop, Brinkush's youth friend and the most important Romanian collector of the artist's works, were exhibited in premiere between October the 24th and 31st, 1943, when the palace was opened for the first time to the public. The event was called Altinius Week, being organized under the patronage of the Cultural Foundation of King Carl I, and it was attended by Marshal Antonesco and other political leaders of the time. Also on the ground floor, the room that was initially the dining room of the palace stands out for the generosity of the space and the elaborated ceiling with a complicated stucco work made after a consecrated model of the 19th century used in Versailles. The ceiling amazes us with the richness of decorations, the perfect geometry of the wooden beams and with the delicacy of floral motifs. Close by, there is a hall with walls lined in silk, probably a former music salon, taking into account the acoustics of the hall and the decorations suggesting musical instruments. This wonderful hall has been given back its initial use by the Altinia Philharmonic in Craiova, which organizes here weekly mini-concerts. The room displays collections of fine porcelain, ivory and ebony objects, enabled miniatures, small statues, as well as decorative art objects of the 19th century. The other ground floor rooms with diverse initial destinations are welcoming hosts today for the temporary exhibitions of paintings, sculptures or other forms of plastic arts. There are range here exhibitions of the most famous Romanian painters, among whom we mention Grigorescu, Tatarescu, Amon, Petrascu, Lucian, Tornitsa, Iza, Palade, Stoyanescu, Tsukulescu, but also collections of paintings belonging to the Flemish, Dutch, French and Italian painting schools. All these values are grouped in the Romanian Art Gallery and the Foreign Art Gallery, completed occasionally with exhibitions of great Romanian or foreign artistic personalities. At the end of the ground floor hall, there is a splendid staircase of white marble flanked with a wrought iron railing which is extremely elegant. Columns supported by angelic faces uphold the whole ensemble, rising towards the richly decorated ceiling.
On top of the stairs, the bust of the head of the family dominates the place. Constantin Mikhail, father of the two brothers Jean and Nikolai. There are golden decorations on both sides of the stairs, everything being shed in a warm light, filtered through the skylight of the central part. The special chromatics is completed by the colours of the marble columns and the golden stucco works. In the main hall of the upper level, we notice an open space like an interior balcony bordered by a rail which is a real jewel of wrought iron. On the whole, the palace has 29 rooms and some annexes. The Hall of Mirrors is by far the most spectacular room on the first floor. Having a generous opening towards the rotunda above the Hall of Fame and the main skylight, and also towards the two adjoining rooms, the Hall of Mirrors was the main hall for receiving guests. It was large enough to be used as a dancing hall, its size being enhanced by the Venetian mirrors on the walls. The extremely richly adorned golden decorations and the Murano crystal chandeliers lend a touch of special grace and distinction to this room. The halls on the first floor are arranged as permanent or occasional exhibitions for various artists, mainly painters. The initial heritage of the museum was created by the generous donation of the Amman family in 1908. The donated works were reunited in what was Alexander and Aristia Amman Picture Gallery, and it represented, in fact, the first art museum of the city. The collection comprised, besides a generous library, many objects of historical value, furniture items, and paintings belonging to the Dutch, Flemish, French and Italian schools, generally works from the 17th to the 19th centuries, paintings and graphics by Theodore Amman, Romanian and foreign decorative art. The collection of the museum grew between the wars through a series of acquisitions made by the City Hall and through donations from Nicolae Romanescu, Barbo Druga, Jean Mihail or Nicolae Glogovano, all of them great boyars and philanthropists of Craiova. Sheltered during the Second World War in the cellar of the Prefecture, the artistic heritage is taken over by the Museum of Ultinia in 1950. Only in 1954, the paintings, works of decorative art, as well as some items of artistic furniture, were to constitute the nucleus of the current art museum with an independent statute. So, after many years of hosting the most prominent guests of the time, or being in the middle of Romania's political events, the former dwelling of the Mihails became a museum. Nowadays, due also to the participation in famous international exhibitions organized in over 20 countries all over the world, the collections of the Art Museum represent an important part of the national patrimony. Impressive by the beauty of the building where it carries out its activity, 
as well as by the inestimate value of the works of art it shelters, the Art Museum of Craiova represents an important landmark in the international network of European and international spiritual values. The content of this material does not necessarily represent the official position of the European Union.